The following production may contain spoilers. Hey, this is Shadow the Jedi here, and today we'll be bringing you an awesome review of The Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. So, to start things off, my opening statement for this film, I know we don't usually do this, but this movie was a flawless blend of comedy, action, romance, relationships, and 70s rock. I love this movie. I know it's gotten some backlash for some of the stuff. Um... That it did in the movie, but I really liked it. The characters, they expanded on the relationships and some of the storylines that started in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1. And I'm hoping that I'm going to see some character arcs. We're starting to see halfway there, especially Gamora and Star-Lord. But for the most part, this movie was utter perfection. So I'll start things off with going over some of the different areas that I want to cover. So first off, we have the soundtrack. I'm going to give that a 9 out of 10. Amazing. So I loved how they had, um, I'll talk about this later, but Father and Son was awesome. Fox on the Run in the trailer. Come a little bit closer. Mr. Big Stuff, Mr. Blue Sky, The Chain. There was a bunch of amazing songs. I know I'm not going to be able to fit them all in here. But yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy, you've done it again. Amazing music. Next off, we got the characters. And I'll also be expanding on this a little later. Um, we have a 9 out of 10 amazing characters. Now the characters here, they pretty much didn't do anything new other than the first movie, except for add some new characters, which I really did like. Rocket Raccoon, if this could be possible, I thought he seemed a little more edgy than in the first movie. He had a lot more uh, jokes. Drax was a lot funnier than the first movie, That that's for sure. Gamora pretty much stayed the same. Baby Gru was, oh, he was amazing. I mean, for all those girls who just want, like, the, you know, the cute little minions, they got that in Baby Gru. Baby Gru was very cute, uh, likable. Pretty much all the characters in the movie had good development, except for that one guy who had the, who got Yondu's arrow at the end, which might be... You know, some foreshadowing about what's going to come with him maybe being able to be Yondu's apprentice later on. But, who knows? So the storyline, I'm giving that a 9 out of 10 amazing as well. So, so far we have 9 out of 10 amazings all across the board. And I think that says something about the quality of this film. The story, I mean, I know it had a blend of a lot of different things, but it, it truly was a blend. It was perfectly mixed. There's a little bit of everything, a little bit for everyone. It was very graceful transitions from comedy to action, to romance to music, everything in between, and I just really thought it was a, a beautiful film. So now we're going to talk a little bit about each character, the, my thoughts on each character. So we have Ego, which he's Star-Lord's dad, you can't, you know, that's pretty awesome, you gave birth to Star-Lord, but then you find Ego is almost cooler than Star-Lord. I mean, I don't know if we're talking about the planet or the person, but the planet was absolutely beautiful. The computer graphics, they were amazing, uh, animation, but his origins were a little cloudy. Like, when he tried to explain his backstory, it was a little bit hard to follow, but his powers were absolutely amazing. Star-Lord, Chris Pratt, whichever one, I still cannot believe that this is the same guy we've seen in Parks and Recreations a few years ago. Rocky Raccoon... Boba Fett, please sign this trash panda into your next bounty hunting excursion. Gamora, quit playing hard to get. We knew you liked him since the first movie. Nebula, she's what happens when a troubled past and teenage hormones fight each other. Mantis, okay, does anyone else see this? From Harry Potter, Luna Lovegood. They're like the exact same person. Mantis and Luna Lovegood. Please comment if you see this too. Yondu, why Yondu? Why? Sorry. So, my absolute emotional breakdown, well, as we're talking about Yondu, was at Yondu's funeral with Father and Son by Cat Stevens playing, the Ravagers saluting, and the colorful spectrum of fireworks exploding. Yep, that gets me every time. Well, so, that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching, folks. I'll give this movie a 9.75 out of 10. We've never really done that before. We had 9.5s before, but... 
That means better than nearly perfect. So it's as close as you can get to being perfect. So Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, you've done it again. Can't wait to see what's upcoming in the new Infinity Wars and in the next Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. As always, this is Shadow the Jedi. I'm blue, I'm the